How's it going? All right, Murray, Greg. How are you, doing? How are you guys doing? Take Good. a seat. Thanks. All right, welcome to the show. Excited to be here. Good. So are we. <laughs> um, that was a great trailer. Why don't you? Why don't, why don't we start with you just telling us about that trailer? What did we just see? Anthems of War is a story about um, the aftermath of a battle about the the Big Red One uh, Battalion that um, fought in World War II and um, the aftermath of one of the battles. Cool. So, wh where, where did you guys get your ideas for this? What's your source material for the movie? Uh, a, a producer and I are really into World War II, um, just like history. Mm -hmm. uh, we collect the guns, and we had done a TV pilot that involved some costumes, so we had about five costumes already, and had probably like five or six authentic World War II guns in our possession. So we're like, hey, we should do a World War II movie just for fun. And Murray is a writer, so we got him to write it. And uh, we kind of just put everything together, coughed up some money to buy more costumes, and then uh, talked to uh, some people and got some contacts for uh, reenactors um, and like the old military vehicles, and uh, just kind of threw it all together and had a day of fighting with each other and making some <laughs> art. So where did you find these military vehicles um, and actors? Through one of the... Uh, people who have military vehicles. <laughs> is this like a Just club? asking around. Exactly. The there is a club. Tell them about the club. There's a, it's called like the Military Vehicle Preservation Society, I think. Don't uh, quote me on that. Of uh, Utah? <laughs> yeah, of Utah. Um, his name's George. There's a guy, George Stokes, who lives down in uh, Payson, who has a garage full of like two commander cars, um, a couple of wheelies, um, then a half track, which is crazy. And then uh, Bruce uh, Morgan lives out in... Uh, Willa, I think, or uh, West somewhere, and he has yeah. a half ton. Truck. They are the society, those two. They <laughs> there's, there's a few more members, but those are the two guys that we, we know. We've used Bruce a couple times. so. And their wives are like, when can we park the car in the garage? <laughs> Not well, it, was, it was a whole separate garage. Like, it was all, like, and, they're, and you know, they're, they're kind of old, and, you know, they, this is what they do. They love to collect. They love to show off their collection. And, you know, he and they, do it. they do it for cheap because yeah. they love to, this is what they love to oh. do. And they love, they love they to share the, they love to share the history. And when mm -hmm. someone younger is in, excited and shares the same interest, they're all, all about sharing what they have to offer. So, like, he even called us, like, hey, come down and check out my cars, even though we already knew what we wanted. He's like, just come down. And we spent, like, an hour, like, just gave us the history of each car. And we're, and we're <laughs> World War II nuts, so we are like, cool, you know. <laughs> We already know this. No. They're, these guys are really, really cool and, and really good to work with. Sweet. Well, tell me about yourselves. How long have you been making movies? Our shelves? Shelves. <laughs> what kind of I have a pantry that has like canned How long goods have you on been top. In carpentry? <laughs> um, tell me about yourselves. <clears throat> um, well, I've been, you know, I started my, my first uh, movie back in probably 96. And, you know, you get your first video camera and you have to go shoot something. And you get your friends and family to come along. And, um, I didn't really start getting serious about it until I uh, bought a DVX-100 and I said, I've got to make mm -hmm. films now. And, and um, that's about the time that I met Greg. And ever since uh, we met, it's just kind of been, uh, it's been a match made special. in heaven. Yes, very special. That was weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, now, now we have these tools that, you know, these digital tools that we can make um, any story, even on a micro budget like we work with, um, into something that, that you can take your idea and if you're willing to put the time and the energy into creating uh, the shot for these, you know, we, we like to make big stories, you know, World War II stories and, and fantasy stories and, you know, Star Wars spoofs and stuff like that. We make big stories and we need, the, we need these tools that we have nowadays like After Effects and, and digital HD cameras and stuff like that. And, um, you know, for me as a storyteller, a lot of times I ask uh, some of the filmmakers who, who help me, like Greg, and um, uh, to make, you know, impossible shots. And, um, but uh, now we can. So I, w I can't imagine trying to do this thing 20 years ago. Well, I, I'm in charge of the Wasatch Film Group, which is an uh, online Yahoo group. Um, where you know there's actors and filmmakers and um, extras, makeup people, costume people, um, composers. They all are on this this board, and it's all composed of everybody from Wasatch Front who want to make movies. Right. And anytime that I need something, I just and the most most, most of these there. people that are, get on there are are working for for free, right? They, uh, is this sometimes volunteer community. Sometimes it's volunteer. Um, sometimes you have to throw a little bit of bait out there right. just to get people like excited cheap pizza about it. And exactly. Water. 
yeah, there's nothing wrong with a little bit that. of Little Caesars, you know. It goes a long way. Actually, as a rule of thumb, we, we say no pizza on our set. <laughs> and then we had pizza. And then we had pizza on anthems. Yeah. We promise good food. You just can't resist. Yeah.